Last time, we set up one of our reactor cores, but we still have three more to set up. Luckily, Unity 3D has a way to make that job easier. Prefabs. We're going to show you how to use prefabs to reap the benefit of your previous work with very little extra effort. Let's get started. Without prefabs, you'd be forced to complete this scene by creating three more reactor cores and going through all of the steps that you went through before. But each reactor core is identical. We'd basically be repeating the exact same steps over and over. Prefabs offer us a way to skip those steps. Prefab is short for Prefabricated Object, an object you make in the project itself and then just copy whenever you need to use one in a scene. First, let's create an empty prefab. To do this, click on Create in the Project view and select Prefab. Let's call this one Reactor Core. Now, do you notice how the created prefab object is this gray square? That means it's empty, there's nothing in it. So we need one last step. So finally, we will fill the prefab with our finished reactor core by dragging it from the scene into the prefab. Notice it turns blue and gains a triangle. Now it's filled with all of the data from our reactor core. The prefab is now exactly the same as the reactor core, which means you can easily propagate the work you did to the rest of the scene. Now we just need to drag the reactor core prefab into the scene, and we have another copy. So then we just take that and position it, and suddenly we have two functioning reactor cores. All we need to do now is repeat the process twice more. One small caveat though, when you drag a prefab into the scene like that, it's going to place it relatively randomly. You'll notice these decimal values after the X and Ys and Zs, for example. So to make sure everything is lined up, you need to look closely at the reactor cores. Just look for any overlaps or gaps and just eliminate them by careful positioning. So there you have it. You've taken the work you performed in one object, your original reactor core, and you've applied it to several others by making a prefab and then instantiating that prefab multiple times in the scene. Instantiate is really just another way of saying making a copy of something but it's a very powerful tool. Consider a game that uses a monster spawner, for example. Using a mono behavior you write, you could create a monster spawner that spawns monsters every few seconds by instantiating prefabs you link to it. You'll find that even things such as special effects often use prefabs, so expect to see their use more as we move forward. Prefabs are useful for another reason as well. Any change you make to the prefab will propagate out to each of its instances. So if you need to make a change, say to the up position of the reactor core, you're only going to have to make it once on the prefab, and then it will automatically be updated everywhere that prefab is used in the game. Next, we'll take a look at the Unity camera in the Pro Tips section, Understanding Unity Cameras. Good luck!